Okay, I got OBS going. Okay, I'm on Mint 22.2 Cinnamon and the latest uh, kernel 6.8.0 generic 85 generic. I upgraded my mid tower. I went from a Ryzen 7 5700X to a Ryzen 9 5950X. I doubled the threads. And man, what a difference. Uh, I mainly use this PC and my Sierra 8 mini PC for doing uh, YouTube videos using Caden Live. And uh, we'll get rid of that. So. 22.2 is pretty cool. And uh, here we have, we show the 32 threads. And it's just sitting there at idle. It's not doing anything. Only thing I got going is uh, OBS. One thing about OBS I noticed compared to the two CPUs, uh, it uses a lot less memory or CPU percentage. Let's go... Uh, Let's show it here. When I ran the uh, OBS with the R7-5700X, which is a great CPU, don't get me wrong. I just wanted more threads for uh, rendering. And it uses, the new CPU uses a little more power. But this CPU says 1.6% of the CPU is in use. On my... R7 CPU, the 5700X, it was uh, almost 6%. It was 5.8, 5.9, sometimes 6. So I can see the difference in the usage of the programs that are involved with video. So, okay, we'll get rid of this. And then another thing I wanted to show you. Here we have... Uh, CPU X, which is Linux version of CPU Z, and run an OBS, uh, it's 38 degrees Celsius, and you know, it might get up to 65, maybe 69. When I render, I did an eight minute video the other day, it took one minute 45 seconds. It hit 70.5 degrees. And it had a whole bunch of stuff in it. I did the speech to text, uh, multiple wipes, a lot of cuts, like six different videos. Um, and uh, my CPU usage when I used top was around under 20 percent which is the lowest i've ever seen i started off on this build in 2018 was a uh, ryzen 7 2700 i uh, did a bios upgrade when i put in the ryzen 7 5700x and that bios also covers this ryzen 9 5950X. So when I replaced the processor here recently, about a week ago, uh, it booted up the first time. It was no big deal. Uh, pretty seamless. And I'm still using the original 2018 motherboard. It's a uh, X470 Pro by Asus with upgraded BIOS. And it's PCI 3. And that's the only thing that I would like to increase the bandwidth of the PCI bus. But the B550s are, uh, it's kind of weird right now. I, I would like an X570, but they cost more than a uh, AM5 motherboard. Which if I went that route, I'd need new RAM, new CPU, new motherboard. And, uh, you know, I looked that up. It'd be 1200 bucks to maybe 2000 for what I want. But right now, this thing is working really good. And you can see the temperature's climbing up slowly. I'm moving the thing, this thing around here. 
it will sit there at 60 degrees. Once I go into Mint, it must be how the program is working stuff and the load on the processor that it drops right down to like it's been as low as 37 just sitting here I'm not moving anything around I'm only recording oh and I noticed that the uh, the reason it jumped it was taking a download if you look down here this is my update manager and it says there's three updates so after I load the program it stalls for about a minute and then it checks for updates and I can show you what that looks like cool let me show you how fast the program loads I'm gonna to go to Caden Live boom and there it is and what I'm using here 2508.1 the latest audacity on my other CPU took about four times as long to load this thing this R9 is a fantastic CPU